Hello again, it's April here and welcome back to another video or hello if you're new here. Uh, my name's April, I think I just mentioned that. I go by Monkey Mintaka online and I make studio vlogs and art videos and all that good stuff. So last week I didn't have a studio vlog. Um, I actually did film like half a day of stuff. It was basically just me unboxing a package that I got in the mail and then nothing for the rest of the week. So by the time the weekend came, I actually did nothing at the weekend I gave myself permission to do literally nothing and I played so many games I played Valheim with Martin like all day Saturday and I played I got up at 6 30 in the morning because I'm still waking up early and I just automatically get up early and I played Minecraft by myself for like three hours and it was pretty awesome so yeah didn't really do anything at the weekend it was lovely but uh so by the, by the time the weekend came I realised I didn't have a vlog and I wasn't going to have a vlog because I didn't film anything. But thankfully, thanks to past April who made all of those YouTube videos, remember? I made all those YouTube videos a few months ago for like backups, like fill-ins. So I have a few kind of in the bank for things. And I popped up my toucan video, toucan, toucan? Uh, <laughs> the bird video, five mediums one image on Monday and I got some lovely comments and feedback so thank you and if you haven't watched it I'll leave a little card above it's uh it was a pretty fun video and I'm gonna be kind of like popping some of the images on Instagram over the next couple of weeks I was gonna do it all together but I thought these images took ages to do just like one by one so I'd rather just like spread them out and get bang for my buck anyway I'm at my desk, I'm at a really weird angle, I'm like leaning over, so I'm actually, this is quite painful, because if I sit up straight, I'm like over here. <laughs> so I'm at my art desk and I thought, to start off, we could have a little catch up. I've written a list of everything I wanna talk about. A lovely little to-do list by Liz Villar. She made some and she gave them to me, they're kind of falling apart a little bit because I've mishandled them. And there's a name at the top, Melissa Castro. Castrillon, Melissa Castrillon. I don't know why I put that there and I don't know who this person is. <laughs> I guess it was important so I might look her up later. But yeah, anyway, so you don't have to look at my face for like 15, 20 minutes because it might be a long chat. I'm gonna be continuing to work on this image that I, whoops, that I was working on last night. It's from the uh, Domestic Course by Sarah Von Dongen and been a very enjoyable course I've basically finished it now finished all the videos just need to finish my final sketch so I'm gonna do that now and I thought while I do it we can have a little chat all right I think you can see that <sighs> it has been a while since I have done uh, a drawing chat on the vlog on any vlog because it's been a while since we've vlogged so I'm looking forward to it I've got half a glass of water left which is probably gonna go in about five minutes because I'm quite thirsty we had tacos for dinner and they were quite salty because I used the entire taco seasoning packet on like only probably a quarter of the mints that you're meant to so it was very it was very it was very flavorsome <laughs> anyway this is my image so it's from Sarah Von Donegan which I mentioned and it's my sketchbook right now it's such a mess I ripped I cut this page out to do my stickers in and I had to like washi tape it back in so it's like basically washi taped and then I have this my all my course stuff spread out over like a few pages um so nothing's together but it's fine I like it like that it's a hot mess I won't like go into the course but I would definitely highly recommend it if you guys are interested in uh sketchbook work or making an illustration or uh Sarah Von Donegan who is, I love she's one of my favorite illustrators on Instagram and in general the final project is making a portrait of yourself so these are just some little thumbnails that I did and then this is the final so it's basically me sitting at my desk like from behind and you see out the window because I really wanted to get like a picture of what I see like and the main thing I see is out my window right now though it's full of scaffolding you might have seen on Instagram I'll pop a picture up but basically it's just like taking over with scaffolding. So now we are at the final stage of the drawing, which is I've kind of done the main, I've done like the layers of paint, and then I have to go in and do all the details. So I have a whole bunch of different stuff here. Not really, I just have these two brush pens. <laughs> no, I have more things, I have more things. I have colored pencil, brush pens. Oh, I gotta go get my crayons in the other room. P.S. Sorry if it's really noisy. 
I have probably mentioned this before, but I live on quite a noisy road and there's just cars and stuff all the time. These are my crayons. So I got these ages ago and I only just started using it for this course. Like I haven't used it much, but these are, the colors are so bright here. So I probably won't use much. This is actually the color palette that I made for myself. So it's like these, this colors here, these colors here, um, these two, and I'm using this, uh, palette here which is just Winsor & Newton designer gouache um, a few of the colors and they're all crumbly and stuff but I have ordered some glycerin glycerin glycerine on Amazon I think it's glycerin and apparently if you mix it with the paint like I'm just gonna have to make new stuff here take this out and put new stuff in if you mix it with the paint it helps it stay like this nice and stuck to the to the palette all right I'm gonna find some pencils that are just nice Oh, you can tell how much I love some of these colored pencils by how short they are. I don't know why, just, I've really started to enjoy muted colors. I like, oh, just broke the pencil lid, that's annoying. Kind of like earthy browns and yellows and olives and things. So this color I really love. So let's get to my list. Um, what have I been up to for the last couple of weeks? Well. I, last week, like I said, I didn't have a vlog out because I was just focusing, I think actually the week, um, the entire week of last week I was working on uh, Patreon stuff because I needed to do a digital download and I didn't have it yet. <laughs> I'm just going to be using all the grace. Um, I didn't have it done yet, but I knew what I wanted to do. So I had to like work on it all week and it was a really, really fun one. So I'm glad that I like took the time to work on it. Um, I might show actually in this vlog uh, later towards the, the end of the week because I really want to post it on Instagram too so I'll probably show it in this vlog as well. When the weekend came, like I mentioned, I just relaxed because I've been working quite hard the last few weeks. Also, I've been getting really busy with work and if you guys are new here, um, most of you probably know, but if you guys are new, I'm a motion graphic designer so by day I make videos and animations and stuff and um, my work has been quite quiet f since Christmas and then the last month it's just really got really busy and like I'm just booked in every day for things um I'm booked sometimes like three weeks in advance you know for like work because we just got a lot of work on so that's good uh, and obviously my day job is you know it's like more more important really because it pays the bills so obviously that has to come first and over anything i'm not really sure what i'm doing here to be honest i'm just kind of like playing which i think is the best part about making art just playing so i actually have been feeling a little bit stressed out and it was actually last weekend that i was feeling the worst and i think it was because i had so much to do on my to-do list and i don't need to write everything on my to-do list like i know that i say I'm, I'm gonna have an etsy update at this time i'm gonna do patreon stuff this time i'm gonna post to instagram this time but like those are rules that i impose on myself no one else it's not like if you're if you're in a job and you need to get stuff you know to a deadline like to a client they are own personal deadlines and i think deadlines are important that you set for yourself but like at the same time um i think they can be so stressful like if if you have so much other stuff going on so yeah the weekend before last i was having not a very good time uh, mentally and i don't actually get stressed out a lot so, like i pride myself <laughs> i kind of pride myself on the fact that i'm pretty easy going but yeah i was just finding it really overwhelming like all the stuff i had to do and the main the main reason why it wasn't actually any of my monkey business stuff it was actually because i had this project at work that i needed to do and on the friday before i like i still had so much stuff to do and i just kept thinking about all the stuff i had to do on monday um and i couldn't really like i couldn't relax over the weekend like even when i tried to relax when i was doing like stuff for monkey business <laughs> uh if you're new here by the way i call everything i do for monkey mentaka monkey business um yeah so like my extra you know my, my side hustle uh when i was doing work for that i was thinking about the work i had to do for work so it was all getting a little bit much um 
which is why I had a complete break this weekend and just like chilled out, which was really nice. So basically I think I just need to kind of find a better balance between everything and I don't, when I say find a better balance, I don't mean stop doing stuff because I still want to do everything. Um, but at the same time, like I don't, I want to do everything and I, I don't mind working, like I will work a lot, you know, like I don't have a problem with doing that. I was talk listening to Pixie Sticks' video that she did a few weeks ago and she was talking about how people are always saying, you gotta take breaks, you gotta take breaks, you gotta do this. But like for people that have a day job and they're also trying to do a bit of a side hustle and try and grow an art career, you can't, sometimes you can't take breaks. Like you just need to keep working, otherwise you're not ever going to like achieve what you want to do. So it's not that I don't want to stop working. I, I don't mind working, like I will work and I, I, I will try and take breaks if I need to. But I guess the thing was what I'm trying to say is that I need to be better, like I need to be better at managing my time, which sounds crazy. If you guys watch my videos, a lot of people say, how do you do like so much work? You always seem to be working, which isn't true. I obviously am not filming the times where I'm just like laying on the bed, scrolling through Reddit, you know? What colour is my hair? <laughs> I don't think it's this colour. Oh, maybe we could use... Yeah, let's use this for my hair, because my hair is quite dark right now. Like I said, I, I'm, not, I'm not filming, I'm not showing the bits where I'm relaxing, so there are times when I'm actually not doing stuff. Like, there's a lot of times when I'm not doing stuff. Um, that would be boring to show, you know? I'm not just going to show me, like, watching Minecraft videos when I'm lying in bed which I've been doing a lot of lately. It's actually one of my favorite things to do in the evening before I go to bed is to watch um, Minecraft videos. <laughs> Cause that's how cool I am. So that is like one thing I'm kind of thinking about, um, not aggressively, is that a thing? Like I'm thinking about it passively, you know? Like I'm thinking in my head, how can I do that? Or like, I need to do this, or how can I do this? Or thinking of different solutions. I'm not like sitting down and planning out how how to manage my time or how to do this because I've done that in the past which brings me on to my next thing I want to talk about which was the um oh, I've got the name of it now 12 week year this is my iPad which actually isn't here right now but that's fine because it normally is there um, so the 12 week year is the plan that I started about eight weeks ago and I was gonna do an entire video on it like I was gonna do 12 week year my experience and all my planning and everything and I actually have filmed five weeks of that and I have it all <laughs> like I have all the plans everything I've done er er how I how I fixed it all you know troubleshooting along the way but somewhere along the way, I think it was between week four and week five, I just kind of really fell off the wagon. Like I just couldn't keep up. And it's like one of those things that just snowballs where if I had caught up the next week, it would have been fine. But then the next week I was behind and then the next week I was behind, you know? So it like snowballs until basically you are, it's like you're just out of time. Um, I want to do yellow. Do you think yellow will go on here? Not really. This is my yellow. This is my yellow pencil cap I'm drawing. I stopped doing the 12 year plan. I basically, I had it all planned out and I am still looking at each week, like saying, oh well, yeah, um, I've got that this week, I've got that this week. But that's basically just for Etsy now, like, and, and Patreon actually, and I'm doing it for those two. So I guess it kind of is going to plan. I guess the main thing that isn't is my, the fitness part of it. And also like I was like Instagram, things like that, that I had planned. And I'm probably a little bit behind on Etsy stuff. Those kind of things didn't really go to plan, but they are still on track. Like I'm not off track for my Etsy update right now. I will have something <laughs> to show. I'm not quite sure what that's gonna be, but it'll be something. I kind of feel, like I failed, not that I failed, but that it wasn't the right plan for me. I actually found it. I know lots of people would say 12, the 12 week year helps you because it um, it's like a less time to plan, but I actually found it too much time. Like I find it a lot easier to plan around uh, a month 
I think I'm just going to keep doing my monthly plans and having like long term goals but not planning the entire goal. Um, but yeah, if you've done the 12 week year, let me know, like let us know how you found it because I, I don't know, I didn't really get on with it. Like I found the, in the concept really interesting but I couldn't really get on with it to be honest. It's just a lot. I love planning too. Matt, was, Matt and I were talking about the difference between a project manager and a product owner the other day because he has both for his job and we don't have that at my job and I was like, what is that? And he was telling me all about project manager and I was thinking, damn, I should have been a project manager like in another life because I love lists and I love organizing things. It would have been so much fun. Okay, we had a quick battery change, but we're back now. And I was just laughing at my neck here because I basically have made, I made like <laughs> my top mass, like the neckline is huge and it almost looks, uh, I don't even know what it looks like. It basically looks like I have no neck, which I do. I mean, I have a, a I have definitely have part of a neck at least. Oh well, we persevere and we carry on because um, this isn't going to be the last drawing I ever draw in my entire life. Sometimes, do you ever think that? You like, you make like a really, oh, damn it, this camera's meant to be here, but it's here now. Um, you make like a really crap, <laughs> oh, my mum's trying to phone me. You're phoning on WhatsApp, do you want to phone me on the home phone? Yeah, hang on. Okay. My mum just calling me on WhatsApp because she doesn't understand technology. Uh, parents, am I right? Well, basically my mum phoned <laughs> when I was halfway through my little chat. But I did film the rest, so I thought we could watch it together. And I could do a little voiceover and talk to you about some more little bits and pieces. So I'm not actually sure what was the last thing we were talking about. But I'm just looking at my list here. And it's uh, the next thing on the list, I'm pretty sure, was Etsy. So for Etsy, right now I'm on track, like I think I mentioned, I'm on track, but I'm not like super on track, I'm probably a couple of weeks behind, but I will have some stuff for my updates. So my update's coming on the 17th of May, it's going to be the Animal Sanctuary update, and if you've been following me, maybe you've seen some of my live streams recently, you'll know that I've been working on my stickers. So I think I have seven overall packs and sticker sheets, like a combination of those and I really want to get those finished by the end of this month that was my like big goal for this month so I'm going to try and do four this week and three next week and that will be everything another big goal that I have this month is to get affiliate on twitch which I need to do five more streams in the next two weeks oh my god just realized I gotta do five streams in the next two weeks that's crazy uh, I think that's all I need to do because I need to in those five streams have three consecutive viewers which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get that because I've been having maybe like 10 to 12 people join my streams each time, which has been so lovely. I really enjoy them. The only problem is this week, Martin has lots of nighttime calls. Like he is on a call now. He's on a call tomorrow. He may be on a call Thursday and possibly Friday. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do this week. Um, and if I do, it will be a pop-up. So obviously, you it would have come up by the time this video is out. So, you know, hopefully I did one. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do five next week. Um, which could be a fun challenge, but not one that I'm uh, ready for. So, the, the uh, Twitch streams have been helping me do my stickers, um, but obviously I still need to do that on my own. So, that is the big goal for this week, to get four of those done. And I don't want to film everything, like I don't just want it to be a sticker week, because I think that'll be a bit boring. Uh, so, I probably will just do little bits and pieces along the way as we go. And apart from the stickers for the shop, I'm thinking to do some prints. I really wanted to get a zine done, but I don't think I'm going to have time to do a zine. Because after this week, I'm only going to have three weeks before the shop update. But what I'm thinking is, for my next up update, <laughs> which I know I haven't even done this one yet, but I'm always thinking about the next thing, the next update, I really want to do a zine update. And I think that would be the most fun thing ever. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I might even be able to do like just three or two zines or something. But I would really, I really want to get back into making more zines and maybe like smaller zines like A6, more kind of art journaly. Because the ones I've done in the past, well, the only one I've done in the past is my Inktober one. And also I did Bell and Bear. So they were both Inktober. One is a kind of like a story and one's more informational, which is like the endangered animal one. So for this zine, I want it to be more kind of storytelling, like for this project. 
for my next update I mean I want the scenes to be like stro more storytelling more story driven more art driven like more like art journals um things like that which I think would be so fun and then the idea I had for this one the animal sanctuary one I could include in that update which I think would be nice so worst comes to worst I'm only gonna have stickers but hopefully we can also get some uh prints done maybe uh, some postcards if I can get them designed and printed in time because I'll be doing those out outsourced. I did have some other ideas too but I can't remember what they are right now <laughs> so we won't worry about that but um, yeah I think this week's going to be quite Etsy strong because last week was quite Patreon strong so I think it is a good like I do enjoy doing a week of this a week of that because when I was trying to do like one day here one day there I never felt like I had enough time like I feel like I need a good solid three or four days in a row to concentrate on one project at a time so I'm think I'm thinking of going forward trying that doing an entire week of just Etsy an entire week of just Patreon and then an entire week of just like art stuff like art related just for Instagram for myself for learning um, possibly for Etsy products, things like that, but not with that in mind. I just really, I just feel like I'm, I'm not focusing enough on art right now, which is why I'm doing this course. Um, just because it's fun and I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm technically if I'm learning anything because it is kind of like pretty basic stuff, but it is fun to watch and also learning people's different techniques and how they use art materials and how they work on an image and stuff. You know, all of that is good for the old noggin. So, yeah, maybe I'll look at that. <laughs> maybe I'll do a whole new plan. I can call it, like, one week at a time plan. Um, or something. I love planning anyway, so I'll literally, I'll plan anything. I'll plan, all I'll plan to make a plan, you know? Like, that's how much I enjoy it. And then the last thing I wanted to chat about on my list was a fitness I think I mentioned, I think I mentioned a few weeks ago when I started the 12 week plan that I really wanted to lose a, a stone in the 12 weeks. The 12 weeks is going to be the end of May and I can tell you 100% I have not lost any weight. I tried really hard to be like healthy eating, like whole food plant based because I'm vegan if you guys, um, if you're new here I'm, I'm vegan but I am uh, some, uh, some weeks more than others a junk food vegan. <laughs> because soy ice cream is a thing and also you know like processed plant burgers and all these stuff you know I mean fries you know so I do try and be a bit healthier like I have been trying and I have been running also but I kind of stopped doing that a couple of weeks ago I haven't run for two weeks and my eating has been pretty bad since I got busy at work and yeah I mean I don't normally talk about this kind of stuff on YouTube like fitness and weight and stuff but it is part of my life and I figured you guys are watching me because you're interested in not just my art but you know kind of about me so I mean I hope so so I just thought I'd let you know update uh no change there <laughs> but um you know you can only try and if you fail you just gotta keep trying so I am back on the old uh, fruit and veg wagon. Been walking, been trying to walk, been trying to get back into jogging. The reason why I stopped is because I just, I mean, I'm doing it with Martin. He hates it. If I have no one to motivate me, I won't, I won't go. So I've been trying to motivate myself, get out in the mornings. Now it's nice, go for walks. Um, Beat Saber has been really helping because it's so fun. And I'll literally play Beat Saber for like an hour by myself and get all sweaty and it's really fun. So yeah, just um, a fitness update. Every day, keep trying because um, I do want to be a bit healthier and a bit fitter. So yeah, that is it. Life update. And I think that's pretty much all. So um, back to the present. We are still recording it. Oh god, I thought for one second my camera had gone off and I had completely... <laughs> not recorded my entire ramble which I guess like wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world uh right this is where I'm up to right now so I've got my little window my trees outside my little fence and stuff and I think I'm just gonna leave it like this I mean it doesn't if you guys know Sarah Von Dongen and I'll leave some of her work here because oh, I love her work so much um it's not like I wasn't trying to copy her at all because I couldn't like her, her style is very unique I think and she's very scribbly and I'm not scribbly at all. I, I, I'm like, I put lines, you know, I do like lines and things, but I think 
I would like to be a bit more scribbly and a bit more free. Um, but yeah, I don't know quite how to get there. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Big old shoulder neck. <laughs> watching someone on my imaginary iPad and this is the view currently out the window minus the scaffolding so that was my actually gosh I finished I finished the course how exciting and I finished my little chat so I hope that wasn't too much of a ramble no idea how long I've been talking for but it is Tuesday night we will continue the vlog and it should be a good week hi it's Thursday afternoon just the end of the work day just uh, just about and I'm gonna try and do a couple of little orders that I got I think I got them uh, I think I got the stuff for them put them together and then we're gonna go for another walk we did go for a walk at lunchtime but it was only a really short one like 20 minutes um, because Martin had a meeting so we had to rush back so we might be going for another one because it's so nice out and I'm also trying to do 10,000 steps at the moment so this is my fourth day only and I'm on a streak so I want to keep it going and I'm only at like 4,000 right now so gotta go out there and pound that pavement apart from it's not pavement it's gravel and dirt um, there won't be much pounding either just kind of like lightly stepping in a fast uh, action anyway we saw a snake this morning so I'll pop some footage up and uh, Martin almost stepped on it, I had to like push him out of the way and I almost stepped on it, but I didn't but if I had kept going, like if I hadn't been looking down I probably would have stepped on it because it was only a little one and it was just right in the middle of the path sunbathing so it was so cool to see and when um, this afternoon I when we got home I had a look online and I think it's an adder and I sent it to the guys at work because one of the guys that I work with seems to like, he knows a lot about wildlife and stuff and he confirmed but it was an adder, which is the only venomous snake in the UK. I don't know how venomous, but it was pretty cool to see. So Martin was like, let's go see if we can find the adder again. Um, okay, I don't think we will, but it'll be nice to go for a walk anyway. So I just got two little orders. Someone ordered a retro sticker sheet and someone ordered five I Am Artist stickers. So that's cool. Maybe they're giving them to some friends. And I'm given a couple of stickers on each, probably for the rest of my orders this month, because I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, did I say this was going to be until the end of April or the end of May? I can't remember. <laughs> I might have to, like, look on my vlogs and find out. Because, I mean, it's, this is kind of, like, Eastery, and we're definitely going to be in May. We're definitely kind of, like, basically almost in summer, so I think I might change it up. I'm not sure. Just waiting for the label to pop through but I printed these two envelopes in record time of nine minutes how do I know because I'm using this app a time log now I've used this before in the past and let's I sorry I like nine minutes and 21 seconds and I'll show you what I'm doing print is gonna go off now isn't it I'm basically trying to put... come on then God, tension seeker. Good job. All right, I'm basically trying to uh, see where my time goes, right? Because, I mean, time goes, doesn't it, Gertie? It sure does. So I've got all of these things in here. They're basically all about monkey business. So art is when I'm drawing, just drawing for fun not for anything else, just for fun, just me and my sketchbook having a grand old time. Then I got planning when I'm planning the week or I'm planning an Etsy update or you know, whatever. Editing when I'm editing a video. Now this is editing a video for YouTube only. Design is when I'm designing a sticker, sticker pack, uh, backing card when I'm editing photos for Etsy, anything like that. Production is when I'm making a sticker. When Gertie's making stickers, sorry Gertie. And uh, anything else, like prints and things. Packing is packing orders. Social media is when I'm like making a post, not just making, you know, like when, when you plan the posts and you make them and it, sometimes it takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know. And Patreon is everything to do with Patreon. So this is um, when I'm making a video, when I'm doing a blog post, when I'm, uh, I don't know, other stuff like that. And then streaming is a new one where I'm doing Twitch. So if you click on this, this is a free app by the way, it's super fun. So I mean if you're like into this nerdy kind of stuff, definitely check it out. 
is called a time log. If you click on here, it shows you everything I've done for April 2021. You can change this to day, week. So if I look at day, it'll show you I have designed 38 minutes. That was when I was making stickers. Patron, 28 minutes. That's when I was making a video this morning. Editing, 20 minutes. That's when I accidentally hit the wrong one. I, I thought I was editing the video for YouTube, but it was actually Patreon. So that was a mistake, but it's fine. And packing for nine minutes. So if I do untrack time, it'll show me this is how much time I've spent on monkey business in the day, but we don't care about that. So if we go to month, you can see all the stuff I've done here. The main things I've been working on a Patreon, which makes sense because it's the, one of the newest things in my life. Um, designing, I've been doing lots of stickers. Art, actually surprisingly, I've done six, almost seven hours of art, which is surprising because it hasn't felt like that. Production, I spent six hours, six hours and 45 minutes making stickers. Gertie needs a pay rise and I've actually spent six hours and 30 minutes streaming. So that's pretty cool. And only two hours and a half packing. So all together, this is how my time has been split. But obviously, if I look at the entire month, it's only that much. Because there's sleeping, there's my day job, there's... Uh, that's pretty much the only other things I do. <laughs> Probably keep doing that for a couple of months. I think it'll be really inter interesting to see, uh, like, how many hours I spend actually doing stuff for uh, Monkey Mintaka because obviously I have a day job. Apart from that, I mean, I like to go for walks, as you know, play some computer games, but apart from those couple of bits and making dinner and just like general life stuff, like chores and things, I literally spend every free minute I have on doing stuff for Monkey Mintaka because I want to grow it as a business and, you know, for it to be like a bigger part of my life. So, yeah, I think it will be interesting to see just how much time I spend each month on it and get, if I work out how much money like I would be earning from Etsy or Patreon or YouTube like all put together and then see what my hourly wage is it's probably like three pound an hour or something <laughs> but it's all good because right now it's like a passion project you know so um I better go because we need to go for a walk before dinner because um I'll be hungry otherwise I'll probably like faint with hunger in the path and the snake will get me so gonna head off into the sun set and I'll pop back later. It is Saturday morning and we're in the car heading towards um, Box Hill which is the highest point in the South Downs. It's the highest point in the North Downs. It's the, it's Google said it was the highest point somewhere. I'll, I'll let you know later. Um, and it is a hill and there's some woods at the top it's a big hill and it's really steep and we're going to walk up it i've wanted to go up it for ages and i've never been there martin's been there biking a few times so hopefully we'll get some nice views have a little picnic at the top and have a lovely morning so yeah let's, let's go see what it's all about box hill stairs or trail stairs it begins we're not even halfway up yet To work out. I'm talking quietly because there's lots of people and there's uh, lots of maps here. So we're going to do this walk here, Riverside Walk. Oh, so I, I can't even see. I can't even see the people. Let's like, see if it looks good. Martin's taking a very artistic photo. We've been walking for about 47 minutes, but we've actually only been walking for about 15 because we keep stopping to take photos. Because they're so pretty. We're at the bottom of the hill and up there, right where there's a break in the trees is where we were at the viewpoint. So we've walked all the way down and now we're walking around. Probably can't see where there is a lovely river on this side. Hopefully we'll see more of it. And then back to the car park. Found a big old bridge. having a little snack by the river. These are new. They're quite good, a bit dry. You like them? Mm. We're almost at the end of our walk. 
I just thought this was really cool. It's like surrounded by cliffs. It's along the river. And yeah, we're just heading back now. Hopefully get a little bite to eat in the cafe. Little snack at the bottom of the walk. We're back from the walk and sadly this was in the mailbox. It's um they leave in the mailbox if you're not in and you have to re-deliver it. So I think it was my Jackson Art Supplies, which I'm so sad about, but it's fine because I'll be here next week. And also um, I also got, just going to hide my dress, I don't know, I think it matters because I'm pretty sure my dress is on one of my stickers in this, in one of my vlogs, but it's fine. I also got this lovely um, envelope here, and it's from America, from Katie. I got like happy mail on the back. Okay, I don't know what this is, I am expecting maybe a pen pal letter, but I'm not sure if it's from Katie, so I don't know if she's part of the pen pal um, thing for beer. It's so cool, what? Oh, this is so lovely. It's from Katie to say happy birthday, which, when's my birthday? It's in June. <laughs> but uh, thank you. My birthday's in June. But I'm always up for a happy birthday um, any time of the year. Ah, oh, thanks Katie if you're watching. These stickers are so cute. Yay, happy mail. Happy mail. I don't think I showed any of that on camera because I was just like looking at it down here but these are all the lovely stickers I got and look how cool this card is I might have to use this as inspiration for my next pen parlor that was a nice little surprise thanks it is only one o'clock in the afternoon and I feel like we've done so much already today and it's only one o'clock so that's cool so I printed out some images for my animal sanctuary pack the bunnies one. Oh, these are all sticker sheets actually and I accidentally printed two out so that's annoying and also tracky and geese so right now basically this week I want to finish three so I have three animal sticker sheets and I have three animal sticker packs and my plan was to do th uh, four this week so I've done one for the and it's Saturday, I know. Um, three, so three left to do this week, three left to do next week, which is six altogether. So I've got three sticker sheets and I'm gonna do them like I did with my ducks and the sheep, the sticker sheets. I'm, doing. I'm gonna paint them in a second, put them into my sketchbook and paint them and then scan them in to the computer. And then for the sticker packs, I'm just gonna do them all digitally, which is how I did the horses and the piggies. I think that'll be good. Now, the only thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to do three by the end of the weekend, because it actually take ages to do, because it's quite fiddly on Procreate. It probably takes about, I mean, it's probably gonna take at least an hour to paint them all, then I have to scan them, then I have to separate them all in Procreate, and then I have to cut around them all, and then I have to, you know, add the shadow, add the highlights, add the other colors, fill in all the details, the gaps of the paint I've missed, and then finally do the outlines, and then finally, you know, do the line work, and then do the outlines for the stickers, and then put in any extras like flowers or stars or dots or stripes or anything like that. So actually, it is quite a lot of work to do it like that, but I do like the process, and I really like how it turns out at the end, like with the paint. The digital version is a little bit easier because I just have to go straight into digital so I don't have to do any cutting or uh, erasing or anything so that is a little bit easier. But basically what I was trying to say is I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get them all finished like in time for this weekend but I do want to finish them all by next month which is Thursday I believe is the first of next month. So this coincides nicely to the fact that I also have five more streams to do this month if I want to get a Twitch affiliate, which I don't even know like why I set this challenge for myself. I just thought it'd be fun and I thought it'd be so easy because it was literally seven streams and I did two of them in the first week and then I haven't done anything for the last two. And I think the problem with me is like consistency. I just, especially with Twitch, it's really fun when I do it, but then thinking about doing it and thinking about setting it all up and it just seems sometimes like a lot of work and I'm just tired and stuff. So I was thinking maybe next week, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, so if this doesn't happen, it doesn't, but I'm thinking quite seriously, 75% of the way there, that I might do like one stream a night, Monday to Friday, no, one stream a night, Monday to Friday. Wait, when is the first of the month? Okay, so the first of the month is actually on Saturday, so that was right. Um, So I can do one stream a night, Monday to Friday, and I was, I could have done a couple this weekend, but I've actually got my Patreon live stream tonight and then tomorrow it'll be nice to have a little break and then start Monday, do like a live stream a night and do all my stickers. So uh, it could be like two for one challenge.
getting stuff done. The only thing I'm concerned about is A, will I have stuff to talk about every night? B, will people even turn up because they'll be bored of me? And C, will people get bored of me watching me do stickers every night? Because it's going to be on Procreate like every night. But, I mean, when I watch streams, to be honest, I don't even, half the time I'm not even looking at the screen. I don't even mind what people are doing. I just enjoy chatting to people in the chat and watching people. So, yeah, I might do that. I might not. I'll let you know probably um, on Monday because that's when this vlog goes out. So, keep an eye out for that. But right now, I'm going to get my light box out and print, print, print by hand, a, a copy, a photocopy with my eyes and the pencil these into my sketchbook so let's let's do that perfect oh that's beautiful yeah that creeper head really made a difference without it there's no way this thing would look like a fox that looks amazing i think i printed these too big whoopsie daisy i actually they only came this big on the on the a4 piece of paper in photoshop but i upscaled them because i thought I thought it would be better if they were bigger, but I didn't actually think about fitting them on the page. Oh, i got to go print again. So annoying. Ta-da. These are going to be sticker sheets too, so they're going to be like half the size of these actual images, so they didn't need to be blown up that big. Watch your Minecraft videos because we're cool. You have to add a white circular to the middle here hey i keep scrolling sorry if you see my mouse move over to the side it's because i'm scrolling to to follow the okay there seems to be a bit of a problem here guys there seems to be a bit of a betrayal a, a bit of a situation that i'm gonna have to deal with very very soon it's sunday morning i got my coffee I got my little friend here to keep me company i mean that's all they're doing today and last yesterday <laughs> last yesterday i traced uh the bunnies under here and i accidentally i don't know if you can see that but there's a crease in it because i accidentally was uh resting something on it last night and i didn't realize i've got my animal sanctuary in the back which is all going to be all the different animals together and then in my sketchbook i have the turkeys and chickens so this is currently what i have I have the ducks, which are kind of like all green and blue, a little pink, a little yellow. And then I have the sheep, which are mostly pink and purple with a bit of green and yellow. So I was thinking I'll do the same with these guys. And I've written down here oranges, yellows and pinks for the chickens and geese. Browns, pinks and blues for the animal sanctuary, like all the animals. And then purple, blues and pinks for the rabbits so we'll just see how it goes and i'm just gonna quickly paint them kind of like how i did with these guys but without the pencil line and with these guys but without the pencil line and then uh, when they're dry scan them in and that's pretty much what my plan is for today um i'm just gonna quickly put face cam on face cam pineapple hair go go pineapple hair <sighs> Oh. It's okay. <laughs> I already accidentally I didn't tighten this enough and it, it um the camera that you like the, the camera's on a tripod like an arm like this so it can move and I accidentally loosened it earlier and the camera smacked into my iPad. They're both okay, but I was like <gasps> Um my hair looks absolutely crazy right now, but it's fine. I'm just in the house by myself, Martin's gone on a bike ride. So I played a little bit of Minecraft this morning and now I'm just chillaxing. Um, I actually played Minecraft with Sasha from, well, she's not from, but she's Sasha Fitzgerald here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And we've been playing Minecraft together and today we killed the wither by ourselves. So I might pop that in um, here. For your view and pleasure. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Okay, um, potion of regeneration, potion of strength. Ready, Sasha? Yeah. yeah. Go. Yeah. Uh oh. He's not in the right room, Sasha. Oh, this isn't good, Sasha. Sasha, this isn't good. Sasha, he's escaping. Not yet, he's not. Oh my God, Sasha. Do you? Oh my God, so terrifying. 
his health is going down. Oh my god, we did it! Yay, 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 yay! What happened? We did it! Oh my god, get the star, get the star! Get the star. <laughs> okay, I found the star. We did it! Look at this yay. place! So what I was gonna say is, the only thing I'm planning to do today is paint my animals and scan them in and have them ready and procreate because I don't know if I mentioned this already on the vlog I think I have I um, definitely think I'm going to try and do every night streaming Monday to Friday next week and do my stickers and also try and get Twitch affiliate like two and one so I think I'm gonna try and go for it I'm not sure how work's gonna be I'm not sure like if Martin has different calls that I can't go in the office so yeah we'll see if we can do it hopefully we can i think it'll be fun uh i probably will only do like an hour a night just to get the stickers done i mean most streams i think i'm only going to do an hour and then they turn into like three hours so we'll see how it goes but yeah that's my plan so i just wanted to let you know that's why i'm not going to do any more on the stickers this afternoon just want to get that done this morning and then this afternoon i need to do stuff for patreon and also play games with martin that is obviously a priority so yeah that's it anyway i'm gonna get back to painting and let's see how these stickers look hopefully i get the colors right about 30 minutes later and I have finished the painting uh, I think this one is probably the best one because the colors go quite well together this is the one that I showed on um, the film then I did these ones which are meant to be like blues and purples and pinks but I used this Cosmos pink which I th and also this blue I need to get paler blues and paler purples actually which is what I'm going to do on my next purchase because the only purple I have is this purple and then I have I don't have any pale blues like I don't even know if they have I want a blue like this like the lavender but blue like that kind of paleness like a pastel color because I think these are just too strong like you need to mix them with colors and everything was getting a little bit muddy but the power of digital because next obviously scan this in the power of digital is that we can change these colors so don't worry we it's gonna be fine and then on the other side i did this these are meant to be browns pinks and blues but after this kind of went wrong i changed it up a little bit so this is going to be more like these which are like almost rainbowy but instead of on the pink side they're on the orange side which i quite like um started off quite well but towards the bottom here like this little piggy this bird things get a little bit muddy because my paint palette gets a little bit you know muddy itself so um once again power of procreate we can just go in and i mean this isn't procreate i'm literally fixing something live on camera right now i know it's incredible um but yeah we can go into procreate and draw over things we can even say if i really like this part here cut this out paste it onto the pig or whatever you know uh it's fine so that is it face cam it's really sunny in here so i've actually shut the curtains because when it gets really really sunny in here like it just blasts the side of my face and it's really annoying um martin art i also made this while i was doing it so beautiful gonna dry it and frame it and now it's 10 o'clock so i'm gonna scan these in and i'll pop them into procreate and i think that's all i'm gonna sorry i'm just looking at I'm watching Liz and it's paused at the most hilarious expression on her face. I'll show you. I was like, yeah, that's all I'm going to do today. And then I looked at Liz and Liz was like, really, April? Shouldn't you do more? Um, no, I'm not going to do more, actually. That's all I'm going to do. On Patreon, we are doing a project called Alliterated Animals right now, where I'm drawing, like, animals that have... They're doing, like, activities or they're, like, humanised. So they're doing, like, different stuff. And... Uh, the one I'm doing right now is horse riding hair, so I need to make that for Monday, which is tomorrow. Like a little turtle in my shell. 
um my watercolor paper i'm getting to the point now where i kind of like i'm sick of making paper like making paper every day because it's kind of getting boring and also our air drying cupboard where we have all our sheets and our towels and everything is such a mess now because i basically crammed everything on the top shelf so i can have like all my paper laid out on the bottom on like the actual air water heater whatever it's called so it's getting a little bit frustrating because every time i open the air and cupboard things like try and fall out it's like bart simpson you know when he shoves everything into his wardrobe and then it all falls down on top of him so i'm thinking about having a break from making paper because i'm almost at the end of my paper ma making thing right now like the uh it's the cotton blend that i was making a couple of weeks ago on the vlogs here so i'm almost at the end and i have a massive stack of paper like yay high and I really want to make a sketchbook with it. I don't think I'm going to do that this weekend because I think it's going to be a little bit too much to do today. Because I remember the last time I made a sketchbook. I don't think I have it here. But the last time I made a sketchbook, it took me all day to make it. And it didn't turn out very good. I just followed a tutorial from Sea Lemon on YouTube. It was really fun. But, uh, I mean, it was fine. It worked fine. But it took all day to do. So I probably will try and do that next weekend because it's going to be another bank holiday here in England. Yay. And, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Um, I kind of feel like playing some more Minecraft. I might do that. But then also I know Martin's going to be home later and we're going to be playing Valheim. So really, responsible April should do some work. It is the weekend though. I don't know. Hello. Um, it is the afternoon. It's about four o'clock. And, um, what have we been doing? Well, we went for a walk. I dragged Martin out for a walk because... I had like 9,000 steps I had to do. I'm trying to do 10,000 at the moment. And uh, yeah, I've done it all week. Uh, so been pretty good. But he was pretty tired after his bike ride. So I just dragged him around. Um, it was fine. He's fine. And uh, I'm just going to chill out now until dinner. So basically I scanned those stickers in. Uh, not stickers yet, but I scanned the artwork in for the stickers. And I need to just like tidy up a little bit in procreate before i work on them tomorrow so now i'm just at my art desk and i'm about to chill out for a couple of hours before i make dinner so i've got my weak cup of tea here. it looks weak it's not it's earl grey for some reason it's like the palest cup of tea i'm watching by buns uh vod on twitch because she started twitching again i'm so excited i love her twitch stream so much um and yeah, I've got these guys that I need to stick back into my sketchbook. So I might stick them in. And then I've got the photocopies here. I'm just literally going to copy, like, in case I forgot how to draw them. <laughs> just copy them so they kind of look like, um, look like this. You know, how I just kind of went over it. Stick that back in. And then also, I really want to do... I really want to do Tita's, uh, Tita Lopez. I think it's Tita Lopez her draw this in your style it's so cute it's got a little piggy and it's got some clouds and a rainbow it's like the cutest thing ever so i'm definitely gonna do that and i have copied it onto my ipad so i'm just gonna have it up on the side here Ta-da! first i'm gonna do these as a little warm-up it's a little bit late now we had dinner and everything and we played some valheim and then i came back and finished these so i've stuck them into my book where i cut them out originally so we've got all of the um different animals here <laughs> and i haven't done the stickers yet in procreate so um it's kind of like a little preview i guess of what they'll look like but a bit more tidier then we've got the bunnies here oh, this is the worst page i think that blue that i outlined with wasn't dark enough but yeah just some bunnies and some chickens and turkeys so it's actually this is what i did on the patreon live stream the other day um it's such a weird page <laughs> i was using the neo water soluble crayons which i think i mentioned on this uh vlog maybe but yeah bit strange anyway um it's only 7 30 and still light outside so i think i'm gonna give that um draw this in your style a go and yeah maybe try and post it to instagram tonight or tomorrow I think that'll be nice to do because it's so cute and it's got a little piggy and so yeah i'll give that a go now i finished the draw this in your style and i did it first in my sketchbook with a whole bunch of different stuff i used crayons uh, markers pencil but because it's quite dark in here 
Uh, I tried to photo it and it was terrible. So then I scanned it and it didn't look very good either. Um, and then I decided to just put it in Procreate and doodle over it really quickly, like super, super rough doodles. And actually, I think it turned out pretty cool. So it's just a little doodle, just a little um, fun little thing to do on a Sunday night. But it is but it is quite late now. It's about 9.30. So I'm start, going to start getting ready for bed in a sec. And I have to plan out the week in my bullet journal. I've got so much stuff to do next week for Etsy. It's also coming to the end of Patreon. Um, it's also coming to the end of the month. So I need to get stuff done for Patreon for next month too. And obviously my day job. So I think it's going to be a very busy week next week. But uh, hopefully we can organise it so, it's, so it works out. But uh, this was just me doing a little doodle of uh, Tita's Draw This In Your Style. So I hope that you enjoyed watching the little process. And I will be back tomorrow to say goodbye in the daylight. So I'll see you then. It is Monday morning now and I'm in the office. It's about 8 o'clock. I just finished editing the vlog. It's a long one this week. I think it's about 55 minutes long or something like that. 55 to an hour. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I, uh, the week was good, I think. Um, like always, I can't actually remember anything I did, even though I just edited the video, so I'm sure it was good. Uh, this week I have a video coming out on Wednesday, it's actually a collab video with someone else here on YouTube, so I hope that you'll pop back and watch that one, and uh, also I am going to try and attempt that maybe possibly crazy uh, thing this week to stream every night on Twitch and work on my stickers. So I hope that if you're around, you'll pop in and join me. I'll make sure the link is in the description below. And that is all for me. So I uh, hope you guys have a lovely week and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.